How are you guys this week? We're finally black. <laughs> How are you guys this week? We are back on the vlog camera for Frankie Strange Meat Weekly number three, which is important because now I can show you guys all my new Tinder matches on my phone uh, after being out in the country. Here's my first one. This is actually my, my top choice, but you know how Tinder is like, it's hard to get the pretty girls on Tinder. You guys see her? Really pretty, huh? And then um, my backup was, uh, I mean, not my first choice, but you know, I, I can't be in my house, you know, doing nothing all day. I need, I need something, you know? I need some affection out there, so. Look, th this one was a little rough around the edges. She's a little hairy, but look, if I go any longer, I'm gonna have to maybe take her on a date, you know? So, you know, I already matched with her, but um, I I'm, wait I'm waiting on option number one first. So we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> have, have you guys gotten the picture? I've lost my mind out here, I've lost it. But if you guys continue to support the businesses, we should have a farm by spring of next year. I'm a little broke right now. I don't, I don't have the capital for the down payment, but if you guys continue to support the businesses, if everything goes well, we will have a spring uh, a farm by spring of 2024. And hopefully there is a spring on the farm for some natural water. But uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not having fun today. It's two o'clock right now. I've been on my phone since like nine in the morning fixing stuff, which I haven't eaten anything. I haven't been able to do anything. Just calls all day trying to sort some stuff out, but, but we're making some stuff happen. And uh, the, the last vlog we did was like an hour long. I'm, I'm gonna try to condense it a little bit because I'm gonna give up doing these vlogs every day. It's, it's just way too much work. So I'm gonna try to keep it condensed and, and short and concise. Um, I did wanna read some reviews. We had some excellent feedback on the beef barley stew. On the other hand, I don't really wanna read them because I think we're sold out. I think you guys bought all of it and I might not have time this week to uh, make some more beef barley stew, but we have the plain beef stew and we're gonna have the Vichy Swat available. And then I want to do cream of mushroom soup, but um, some of you guys saw at the end of the la uh, my last vlog, one of my employees, he said his back hurt. I, I, he's not here again, third day in a row, unusual. I called him this morning, he sounded really sick, so. I think he just got sick, I'm not sure if it was his back or not. Uh, so we got one five star review for the pork bacon. I've never experienced anything like this. I felt like a royal. <laughs> they were succulent and delicious. Any other bacon I eat will suck in comparison. Love it, thank you, hey. I'm glad you enjoyed the, the Iberico bacon. Uh, we got, someone sent me an email. Hey, I ordered 14 jars of the new stew and unfortunately three of the jars were shattered. Uh, we sent him a refund. I did try it last night and it was so delicious. Honestly, the best stew soup I've ever had and I will definitely be ordering more. Is there any credit I can, yes. Yeah. So he sent us a photo of the broken jar so we immediately just uh, issued a credit refund for them but he really enjoyed the stew is the point. Another review, five star review for the beef barley stew. Finally, the end of my fast food habit. After work, I want a hot meal, but don't usually want time to make one, so I usually default it to fast food. Now I can use one of those portable soup warmers on a timing outlet and have an awesome soup ready when I get home. And this really is an awesome soup. I honestly believe that I'll eat one a day as long as Frankie makes it. This isn't any grocery store soup either. It's thick and satiating, not a lot of liquid in it. And then we had another review. Delicious, added some olive oil, salt, and probably three quarters of a cup of water in a pan. Super thick and tasty. Yeah, so guys, this soup we made wasn't really a soup. It was like a solid stew. There was very little liquid in it. You're basically eating like barley and, and vegetables and meat. So it, it's hard to even call it a soup or a stew because it's so thick and you, you almost have to add water and dilute it more. Same thing with like the water kefir we sell. I don't drink that water kefir on its own. I dilute it half with water and it's still excellent for probiotics. So keep in mind guys, not only are we offering like really high quality products, very unique, no one else is making them like us. They're also great value because even though they might look expensive up front, they're concentrated in some cases. Are we even rolling? Yeah, we're recording. Okay, good. <laughs> we posted the second vlog today and I'm just reading the comments. Some of you guys said you like the longer videos. One of you thought I was brilliant with my cattle chips marketing, so maybe we'll have to make a logo on that. Do you have problems with mice or rats getting into your products? I haven't seen one mouse or rat in this new building. Uh, back in New York in the Bronx, uh, we did have some mice get into um, 
get into some of the best bars ones, so we started putting them in cardboard boxes, but we haven't had any issues. But, but anytime you run a food business, the, the main concern is like fruit flies and stuff, so we always make sure to, we put a lot of boiling water down the drains, we cover everything, make sure all food is always covered at all times, because I, I, I hate flies. Flies are, flies are my arch nemesis. In New York, it was really bad. Out here, we keep, there's no, like no flies in the building, because you know, in New York, since everything's so close together and there's garbage everywhere, you can get flies from your neighbors the next day, but here, since it's kind of isolated, if we had flies, it would be in our own drain, which is not happening. So anyway, enough talking. Let's go do some stuff. But yeah, no, I'm potentially excited about the farm thing happening early next year. On the other hand, I mean, it's not that close. I'm going to have to get like another location by there and, and go back and forth. So on one hand, I'm excited for the progress. On the other hand, uh, it's going to be a lot more work on my end. But again, if you guys support us, we should be able to do it. It should be like the, the first really big step forward in, uh, in the business so far. Got some excellent news this morning. Not only are the new organ supplements products here, uh, FDA did clear them. So they're FDA cleared. The supplements are good to go. We should have them back hopefully by this week, early next week, and an entirely new product that I'm super excited about as well. So um, I'm very happy for that. Uh, going to be a little, well, I think it's going to be two weeks away because I still have to have the labels made and sent, but I think we're going to be launching one product this week and then we're going to launch everything else in about two weeks. I think that's what's going to happen. We'll see. Yeah, my guys, uh, I don't know what happened. I don't think this charged properly and my guys left it in the middle of the floor so they had to push, we had to push it. It was a nightmare. Uh, FedEx already picked up the uh, express packages today. We're going to do another pickup with a small amount of packages. I guess we could touch on the restaurant equipment. Yeah, so I'm going to make like a two hour drive tomorrow to uh, to go check out all the restaurant equipment and stuff this guy has, which I'm not too happy about. I hate, I've been spending too much time in my car, but um, he should have the hood vent, the fan for that. And um, and then we can get the, the gas burner set up and that electric skillet set up so we can make the soups and stews a lot easier. I was thinking about buying a steam kettle for the for the beef fat and stuff, but that's another few thousand bucks. I don't really know if I want to spend that. However, I was paying my Amish buddies to do the beef fat and I would technically save money doing it myself. So I would save a lot of money doing it myself. So I don't know, I'll have to figure that out. It's just too much at once. Yeah, so it's like two o'clock. My guys have most of the orders packaged up already. Not much going on in here. This is our Vichy Swat. Smells absolutely delicious. We gotta blend this up and get it in the freezer. Roast beef looks really good. As always, my guys have been doing an excellent job of making sure this is super rare. You guys get it by Tuesday or Wednesday and um, and it's perfect. I'm a little nervous about the eggs because my farmer's still telling me it's gonna be like another two weeks and we've been sold out of chicken eggs for two weeks. So a month without eggs, hey, what, what, can, what can I do? What can I do, you know? So I'm a little skeptical of going in the freezer with the new vlog camera. I'm guessing it's just gonna freeze up again. My guys in here are doing some orders. This is all the Iberico pork we have. Bacon, rib chops, strip steaks, some ribs over there, all the Iberico pork. I have these breakfast sausages every day for breakfast. Besides today, because I didn't have time. Got some veal brains over here, testicles. We got the best burger blend in stock. I think we've ran out of like 80, 20, chuck and stuff. So I think best burger blend is like the only ground beef we have left in stock. Oh, it's cold, cold in here today. I'm wearing shorts. I told you guys last week we got the beef suet fed back in stock in uh, in three pound portions. The one pound chuck steaks are back in stock. I think we ran out for a little while last week. We got some picanha steaks over here. That's New York strip. I didn't eat anything today, so I'm like, I'm kind of shivering right now. But normally when I eat, even if I'm wearing shorts, I'll be, uh, I'll be warm, but yeah, we're not equipped today. This is all the beef liver, so we're selling all the one pound beef livers right now. Um, 
and then we got some different weights like 1.2 pounds and two pounds 1.5 we might sell those at a better price but we'll see i'll see i'll see about that it's just a little confusing i showed you guys we got the one pound venison now uh running low on prime rib roast you guys are buying a lot of these uh, we still have some cod salmon and halibut in stock that's just all like chuck roll and stuff that's gonna be mostly used in stews and soups and we might grind some more chuck up for ground beef. But the fresh ground chuck's a little expensive. And then this is all the local chicken share guys. Uh, I showed you guys in the vlog last week what the local chicken looks like. The meat is quite a bit darker than, uh, than the regular chicken. These are the whole chickens. And the, uh, the breast over here, you can see how the meat's a bit like pale red dark pink whereas chicken breast is normally like whitish all right yeah, I'm, I'm really cold so I'm gonna get out of here before I get frostbite on my fingers oh we're fogging up are we fogging up the new camera is more cold proof huh wait who's calling it my Amish buddies are calling me hello yeah the uh the Amish Bible names always get me. John, Jacob. They're all named John and Jacob, dude. <laughs> the majority of the Amish. Um, yeah, so I, now I, I got to go to the restaurant supply tomorrow morning. And then Wednesday morning, I got to go over to my Amish buddy and show him how to uh, cut some beef for me. So whatever. Yeah, so you, got, you saw my guys in the freezer. They're doing... Uh, they're doing the meat orders. Well, we did all the meat orders, most of them, for the weekend and last week. Then the orders that were placed last night, Sunday night, we're doing them now, and we're going to try to get the rest of them out today, and then we'll finish everything tomorrow. I think we'll blend the Vichy Swat and, and jar it up tomorrow. Um, that, that'll be available by the time this video is posted. I'll see how the rest of this week goes. I guess since the product is going to be launched already, I can say what it is. We're going to have collagen powder and I've talked so much trash about collagen powder for years I found one that's not bleached so it's an it's basically just pure beef collagen unbleached uh, I'll have to show you guys when we're if we're packaging it up or something or when the video comes out all right it's already like 2 30 and I haven't done anything today although I don't have much to do I got to fix this freezer door over here just tape something down real quick guys when i say i'm fixing something it means i'm doing something very easy that a monkey could do because i have no mechanical inclination um but now i got to do uh the non-meat business orders like the supplements the naturals and the wi-fi shielding so uh, we're gonna wrap up the monday vlog unless something else eventful happens i'm just gonna go do some work and then go home and eat lunch aka breakfast yeah, so tomorrow, hopefully the Vichy Swa is ready. We should be getting the fixed order from the food distributor, so we'll be showing you guys even more new products that I'm excited about. And um, I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm not, I can't film when I go to see that restaurant guy, but we're gonna look at the equipment um, that we're gonna get in here. Uh, hopefully I don't go broke this week. See, I jinxed myself saying nothing eventful would happen, so I don't know if this thing's charging or not. I gotta figure out if it works tomorrow well we had to get a pile of boxes from up there so i had to get up on the ladder and try to get them down there almost shattered my wrist but thankfully nobody was hurt aka me so let me figure out hey if this forklift's not working then uh we got a problem but we'll see how that goes tomorrow what's up guys it is tuesday around 2 p.m I was hoping the day was gonna go a little smoother. I was supposed to get here nice and early, show my guys some stuff, drive over to the used equipment supply, drive home, have a nice relaxing breakfast and come back and do some work. However, it's about 2 p.m. now and I haven't eaten anything. So uh, yeah, I, I did come in this morning. I, I showed my guys just how to blend the Vichy Swa and some other things we needed to do today. And uh, it took me an hour and a half each way to go look at some restaurant equipment because that tilt skillet I bought, I need a hood and an exhaust fan and all that stuff. So that's what I went to look at today. And he, I think he's coming now or something. But um, uh, last night I stayed late and uh, the owner came. Oh, here's a, our box delivery for the water key for boxes. The truck just, truck just pulled up. 
I stayed last night. The old owner of the building was kind enough to stop by, take a look at the forklift. We figured out it was just a blown fuse, so you know we're not gonna have some expensive uh, forklift repair bill. Oh, you know, I wanted to read one review we got yesterday. Five star beef for grass of roast beef, tender. Hands down the best roast beef I've ever had. The cook is perfect. You can taste the difference in quality. And it's not salty, so you can add salt or seasonings to your liking. I don't typically buy lunch meat, but this stuff, 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'm glad you guys like the, like the deli products. I, I like convenience a lot, so I'm definitely a fan. Probably showed you guys those, uh, those powders yesterday, the two pallets in the warehouse. $4,000 just for customs clearance on that. Just clearance. I already paid for actual shipping. So the port fees and all that nonsense is ridiculous. So yeah, forklifts working. My guy's got some meat orders ready. I really need to stop filming and go print some meat orders. But I am multitasking, receiving a delivery on my own. This is funny. I think this is the mo I, I was here earlier. I received the deli another delivery. I'll show you guys in a sec. And now I'm receiving this delivery. Usually I'm not I'm not here all the time, so my guys usually receive the deliveries, but this is the dock leveler. You pull this chain. Pull this chain. That goes up. So you gotta like jump on it. I'm like not heavy enough, so I gotta really jump. How you doing man? It's just like one pallet, right? You guys, but uh, I took out the fuse for the board. Right. Almost forgot I left you guys in here. Yeah, so you guys saw most of the meat orders are packed up and ready. We we're just finishing up the eggs, and then uh, this is the uh, delivery that came earlier. I'm gonna unpack this now and show you guys the new stuff we got in that was supposed to come last week that we had the fiasco with. Yeah, also, there's some package deliveries outside that I want to bring inside because they're just sitting out there. So, uh let me go do that and then unpack this and then I'll show you guys everything. I was hoping we were going to be able to finish some new products and make some new stuff today, but we'll just finish packing up the orders real quick and, uh, and that, that'll be that. And we'll do the new stuff tomorrow. My tailor sent me the Wi-Fi shielding stuff I ordered from her. Uh, we got some bandanas back in stock, uh, the regular baseball caps, the wool hats, and just some underwear and t-shirts. So if you guys have been waiting for the winter hats or anything, they're available now. Yeah, guys, I need to figure something out because this is another uh, 5 p.m. day where I'm not eating. So, uh, and tomorrow morning, I have to drive down at like 5 a.m. to our Amish buddies to cut some beef with them. So I was hoping today was gonna be a little more relaxing, but let me show you guys what's new. So this is what was supposed to come last week. I think I did show you guys the dried apples, but we also have dried pineapples. The ghee was in last week. Uh, one of the main missing products was this uh, chocolate, natural, organic ingredients. We have a vanilla chocolate and a salted almond. This is basically like the purest ingredient chocolate I found online, and I tasted these, and, and they're absolutely delicious. So if you guys do want some high-quality organic dark chocolate, we got the vanilla, which is basically just plain dark chocolate with vanilla added. And uh, the almond is salt and almonds added to that same formula. We got some organic coconut cream. I like cooking with this. We might just use these for the soups and stews. I don't remember ordering this much coconut oil, but this is the coconut oil that I cook with outside of the liquid one. So if I'm gonna use like a lot of oil at once, I won't use the liquid coconut oil that we have here. I'll use the solid one. But if I'm just using a small amount of oil to cook with quickly, I'll use the liquid one. Yeah, we got a lot of those dried fruits. All the dried apples and more pineapples are up there. 
we showed you guys we got some organic sugar and organic molasses organic maple syrup some new sweetener products we showed those last week i think the only other thing that's new over here this week is organic oat flour i'm just going to try this equal parts with the this you know because this is you know very high fiber content a little more balanced see organic whole grain oat flour so it kind of disperses the white flour a little bit and then that was the bread flour that we got in last week. Yeah, so Frankie's Range Foods looking pretty stocked up. I'm not sure if we're gonna get anything super new in. And in the absence of jerky, I did decide to try some Epic Meat products for now. So we have these in addition to uh, all of these like biltong and, and beef stick products. So I like the biltong a lot. We got beef sticks too. We got spiced biltong. Now we just have some more jerky products. So. I don't know if I ordered three different ones or if they ran out of one and just sent me the other, I don't know. But this is venison with beef bites. So this is basically the jerky with a small amount of seasoning on it. This is a venison strip with beef. So still kind of like jerky, it's just a smaller strip portion serving. And then this is a bar. This is just a little larger. Yeah, the main difference is this bar is pure venison. This has venison and beef. This has venison and beef. So we have venison plus beef jerky, venison plus beef steak strip, and then just pure venison bar. And then these are Wagyu beef New York strip bars. These are a little dry, but they taste pretty good. These are like, out of all the stuff I tasted, these are pretty good. And then this is just kind of like a plain beef bar. If you guys are looking for something a little different than our pemmican, the pemmican is like super dense, very high in fat, very calorically filling. This is just a, a smaller bar. So we're gonna have these for now until we figure out the jerky situation, hopefully by the end of the year. You know, I like offering a variety of products, but like the profit margin on these is just, it's like abysmal. It's almost like not even worth selling this stuff. But you know, it's products that I like that I include in my diet. So I wanted to share them with you guys. Yeah, all this stuff, guys, is available on frankiesforrangefoods.com in addition to those, all those bars over here and all the jerky and stuff. Yeah, guys, so I, I have a few more things I got to do down here. Hopefully, I get home before 4 and eat at a reasonable time. My guys are finishing putting away the, the soup de Vichy Soi, so that should be on the website soon. And let me, you know what? I should take one of those home for lunch because I don't have anything, actually. You got to take out some meat, too. Um, I'm going to organize this new Wi-Fi shielding shipment in. I gotta check a few things in the freezer. I gotta finish fixing the freezer door over there. And uh, I think that restaurant guy is coming. That's gonna be, I gotta stay later. This is such a nightmare, dude. Such a nightmare. All right, well, hopefully tomorrow. Well, no, tomorrow's not gonna be that. The best case scenario tomorrow, we get down there, it's, I can't, I'm, I don't film with those because I respect the Amish and their beliefs. So I don't bring my camera or even consider bringing my camera over there. So I'm gonna go over to the Amish at around seven in the morning, which means I gotta leave at five. We're gonna cut up beef, and then hopefully I can get here by 11 or something. So hopefully tomorrow isn't like that bad. Hopefully I'm only there cutting that beef for an hour or two just to show them real quick. I've only, I've, I've done a few cows myself. I don't usually remember how to do it. I usually have to like reference a book or a video or something to remember, uh, cause I don't do it consistently, but like I, I can show him like how to, like where to make the cuts for the, on the carcass and then where to cut the the steaks and stuff. The, the stuff I'm not familiar with is like the hind quarter a little, I'm not that familiar with the hind quarter, the last part on the beef where you have like the, uh, like you have the, what the hell is even on there? Like the top round and stuff, like that, that I haven't done in a while. I usually just grind it up when we do those beef out there, but anyway, I'll give you guys an update on that tomorrow when I get back. Yeah, between the used restaurant equipment, that clearance bill for the powders, we gotta, we gotta get these products listed and start selling them ASAP. Just show you guys real quick before I go. We have the Vichy Soi, all jarred up. This is the same recipe we made on YouTube uh, probably a, two or three months back now. So if you guys wanna try it without all the work, I'm gonna have it for lunch. Again, guys, as with all of the soups we've been making, glass bottle, mineral water, all organic ingredients. It's kind of hard to make Vichy Soi yourself because to get that volume of potatoes is a little expensive. And what's even harder is the leeks. To get organic leeks, it's, it's like super expensive and cost prohibitive unless you're like buying from a large restaurant supplier and making a large amount yourself. So 
that, that's probably the that was probably the main reason I decided to do the Vichy swap because like most people I think even that recipe we did a few months back we didn't make it with leeks we made it with onions so now we have it with the leeks which is delicious delicious traditional flavor minimal amount of salt and coconut cream so I'm excited to have that for lunch I mean you know having that with the barley stew I don't really need to cook anything but uh, hopefully we get all this restaurant equipment set up and I think we're going to be sold out of the barley stew, so I got to make some time next week. Maybe we can do that. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. What's up, guys? It is Wednesday. As you might be able to tell already, I am not having fun. And here's my breakfast. And it's 2 p.m. So, left the house at maybe 6. We drove over to the Amish guys. Help! I helped them. I was showing the kid how to do the beef because um, the, uh, the butcher that we normally have do it was busy. But... I, I've, when I cut up beef, I've only done it the same way. So he, he like quartered the cow in a way where I was a little confused. And the bigger problem is uh, it's super fresh meat. The meat isn't hung up, so it's very hard to cut. It's very wet. It's very moist. It's sticky. It's a nightmare to cut. And two, he, he gave me like a, a dairy cow, which was a lot leaner. So the steaks were really small. It was a, it was a wasn't having fun, but I, sh I showed him how to get the steaks out and basically said, hey, you look, you know, the cow's so lean. We just got to grind it up basically. But uh, uh, they didn't have a bandsaw, dude. It was, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. Now it's I just got back here at two o'clock. I'm gonna try to eat my breakfast that I was supposed to eat, and then uh, and show my guys some stuff. The main thing I'm a little down about is uh, they, they might have burnt the Vichy Swat a little bit, so I'm not sure if we're gonna have to throw it out. We're trying to fix it right now because th they jarred it all up, and some of them were burnt and some of them were not burnt but i'm not going to send you guys a product that's not good um so hopefully we can fix the vichy swa if not i honestly don't know if i'm going to make that again i don't really know uh, but we got some iberico breakfast sausage i got some pancakes and uh, maple syrup in here with an apple maple syrup in here and then i got an apple so in regards to what we were supposed to do today yeah, we had a few things to make. We got a meat delivery in this morning. I'll show you guys that. But look, let me let me eat, and then hopefully we have time to send out some orders today. If not, it's whatever. It's you know, it's it's Wednesday, so if people placed an order on Tuesday expecting it to come out today, sometimes that doesn't happen. So it's not it's, we don't, we don't have to send the orders today. And is this cold? Eh, it's room temperature. Okay, good. I don't like cold. So, because we're not able to, re like, if we send Express on Wednesday, sometimes they're okay. Sometimes they're not. We can't, we can't send certain orders that are a little far on Wednesdays. But I I've had a few issues with Express lately where, like, I'll send a California order two day on a Wednesday and it doesn't show up in time. So, I don't really want to send that many orders Wednesday. We try to get everything out by Tuesday. This tastes horrible cold. This is horrible. That's not that bad. I'm hungry, but... It's not that good, cold, like coal sitting in the fridge overnight. All right, guys, I'm going to eat, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah, that had to be like the worst breakfast I've ever had. Day old pancakes and like cold sauce. <laughs> I don't think I even ate half of that. Now I got a sticky, horribly messy lunchbox I got to clean up later, so I should have probably just waited another hour till I got home to eat something because that was nasty. But, you know, I don't have something in my stomach. I've been awake for eight hours doing manual labor. I feel like I'm about to drop, so. Yeah, so we fixed the forklift. There was just a fuse not working. You guys saw we got this freezer door working now. Or not. Or not, apparently. Now it's not working again. Go figure. What happened here? What the fuck? All right, all right. Could be worse. So we got a decent sized meat delivery in today. We got some beef shank, beef liver, beef heart. Uh, the main restocks here are the shanks, which aren't that popular. That's actually all bones. But we do have a new product, which is beef tripe, beef stomach. All right, the door is working. So I'm not gonna have too much of a stroke. Yeah, we got the liver, which we actually already restocked last week. We got beef tendons, which we ran out of completely. So the beef tendon is a restock. We have beef stomach, beef tripe, which is gonna be a completely new product. We got the beef shanks, which are a restock. 
We got some more beef heart, which we're almost out of. And then we got some beef bones for soup. So the main two things are beef tendon restock and beef tripe new products. Because the, the shank, beef shanks aren't that popular, but those are back as well. So we should have those ready by the end of the week. My guys made a lot of whey protein jars. This is the grass-fed whey protein for you guys. We also have the flexos. We're almost out of lemon light, so I'm gonna have to buy more ingredients for that and make that. And this is all the tooth powder and uh, we also have lip balm that needs to be labeled. So hopefully those labels come in. I don't know where they put the lip balm, but those labels hopefully come in uh, early next week or maybe even late this week, I don't know. We'll see, but we have a lot of remineralizing tooth powder and a lot of lip balm. Uh, but that's gonna be it for Wednesday, guys. I'm gonna try to organize some stuff, double check some of the Wi-Fi shielding inventory. We got all that new stuff in yesterday, the new food stuff. But I'll see you guys for tomorrow, Thursday. What's up guys? Uh, I was supposed to just do the normal vlog filming today, but uh, I I'm just so disgusted. So uh, just from yesterday, we did fix the Vichy Swa. I just we had to like put it all through a sieve. It was way too much work. So Vichy Swa may be a one-time thing. We, we will have it on the website. Uh, sorry about the background noise. My guys are uh, cleaning out the, the bottle for the new supplement products. Uh, I did have some new stuff I wanted to show you guys, but uh, I, I think I was saying how we were going to get new packaging for the eggs, foam products from a, a Chinese foam manufacturer. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I might have just been scammed out of, I think it was... I think it was like five thousand dollars around the wire transfer. So I'm just, I'm just. This happened a few years ago with the lead powder, but at least they sent the lead powder, and it may be something happened in customs. But I think these people just scam me. But I, I trusted them because they sent me. Look, me, so I called the bank because this company was emailing me saying. We never received the wire transfer. We never received the wire transfer. We never received the wire transfer. These back and forth emails went on for about a month. I kept calling my bank and my bank was putting uh, uh, amendment on, because they had to change the name of the receiver. But the bank never checked if the money was even received before putting the amendment on it. So now it's October 5th. Back on September 10th was when they put the amendment on the payment. But this Chinese company's bank already received the payment on September 8th. So they received the payment a few days after I sent it, and then they sent me repetitive emails saying that, okay, the bank has the funds, but they didn't clear us the funds. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I've been calling Chase Bank for the past month, twice a week, pure incompetence, nothing's gotten done. Is, is now, so there's two possibilities. Is the Chinese company lying to me and they scam my money, or is the bank actually still holding their money is it possible that i mean city they said citibank said which citibank is the chinese company's bank they said they credited the customer's account so i'm assuming that means they're not holding the funds but how would this company scam me for for five thousand dollars they sent me legitimate samples like they had they manufactured foam inserts for specific custom egg sizes. Like, I I find it hard to believe they would scam me like that. I Maybe I should have gone through Alibaba as a third party payment platform, I don't know. I put a, but I put a recall on the, on the funds. I mean, they're never gonna, if, if they got that money, I'm never gonna see it again. So if I did get scammed, scammed I'm just gonna file a, a small claims lawsuit against Chase Bank and make a video on it about social media every week about how they're incompetent. My main issue with this is when I asked Chase Bank to amend the payment on September 10th, I would you would assume a bank is going to check if the payment was received before amending it because obviously there's no point of amending a payment if it was already received. You know, I asked and I was explaining that to the banker. And this banker, which is a he's in a, some type of in service center in India that Chase is outsourcing all their labor to. And I ask him, if you're gonna make toast in the morning, do you plug in the toaster before you put the toast in? And then this guy goes, oh, that would that would be, uh, that would depend on the individual person, sir. That is, I was like, oh, shut the fuck. I was like, all right, just give me, 
give me your legal contact information because it'd be easier and quicker to file a small claims lawsuit than deal with this nonsense. So, worst case scenario, another fucking dirtbag has stolen more money from me. Go figure. Uh, at this point, guys, I'm just so fucking disgusted. I'm just so fucking disgusted. I, I work, I've been working all day, every day for the past seven years. I haven't paid myself once. I've never celebrated. I've, I don't have anything, guys, besides my business. And when these, and, and I'm doing this business to provide you guys with high quality products and improve people's health and make people healthy and happy. So, you know, they don't suffer from things that I suffer from or all the horrible things I see people suffer from. You know, I don't, I don't want to get too much into that, but you know, when I when I selflessly put everything I have into this business and these fucking cocksuckers steal money from me, you know, they deserve to be thrown off a fucking bridge. These people are disgusting. They think it's all oh, it's all the same even playing field and we're all trying to get as much money to be as rich and powerful as no, these these I'm one of the few people that don't really care about money, but I understand that I need to make as much money as possible to help as many people as possible. But it, like this, this whole fucking scenario is ridiculous. I find it so hard. Just like that H, just like that HVAC guy that apparently took twenty thousand dollars worth of gas out of the, out of that machine. I, I find it so hard to believe that HVAC guy would do all that work for me and come in here with a bunch of tanks and and steal that gas out like a fucking bandit. Like, I don't know. I don't fucking know what to do. It's whatever. What's the lesson learned? I got to be that careful. If a company has the manufacturing capabilities to produce that type of foam, I'm assuming they wouldn't want to risk their reputation on a $5,000 wire transfer. I'm assuming. We'll see how it goes. Best case scenario, there was a mix up or something. Maybe they looked in the wrong bank account and I'm still going to get the foam products. Worst case scenario is I got to trash talk some Chinese businessmen for the next month. But we'll see what happens. Fucking cocksuckers, dude. Either Chase Bank is a bunch of cocksuckers or these Chinese people are a bunch of cocksuckers. But either way, I'm the one that's getting fucked in the ass. It's so fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid, dude. Oh, I'm finally going to be able to save some money and ship the eggs and not have to have my guys packing up eggs for a whole day. Nah, we're just going to steal your $5,000. Now you're screwed. like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? This is so fucking stupid. This shit happens like every few months. It's like I think I'm moving in the right direction and improving the business and reducing the cost of goods. <laughs> and they fucking steal. It's unbelievable. What the fuck is this fucking? Alright guys, I'm done with the vlog for today. Fucking see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys? We're back for Friday. I'm completely shot. I'm exhausted. I had to move some gym equipment this morning. I'm an idiot. I bought more used gym equipment. The company didn't want to deliver, so I had to like rent a trailer and it was it was a mess. So we're basically got here at 2 30 p.m. Um the Chinese scam situation. You know, I, re I reviewed all the emails back and forth and like the legitimacy of their business. I'm like 100% sure they're legitimate because when I asked the guy if he wanted payment a certain way, he said we could do Alibaba or wire transfer. I asked if wire transfer would be cheaper, so I decided to do wire transfer. So it's not like he even suggested wire transfer. And then um, just the, their Alibaba profile on the website, like, the amount of transactions they've done, the amount of time they've been in business. I just don't believe that this guy was trying to, that this guy would scam the money. Now, the problem is Chase Bank completely lied to me. So they bas they're basically telling me once we send the money in your wire transfer, it's not our responsibility anymore in any capacity, which I'm sure there's some banking laws that go against that, that I don't understand, but the international wire team at Chase told me to uh, go into the branch to get proof of some things they were stating, and the branch wasn't going to give me proof. So there's there's two there's two big problems. One, the, the Chinese guy that I thought was scamming me said that the bank did not credit his account, that the funds were on hold and they needed to change the beneficiary name. 
So my bank sent me a message saying they changed the beneficiary name. However, when I went into the branch this morning, the guy said there is no way for us to change the beneficiary name after the wire is sent. So the only thing they could have done hypothetically is sent a message to the receiving bank that the beneficiary name should be corrected. However, when I asked them proof, when I asked them for proof of them sending a message to the bank changing the beneficiary name, they could not provide the proof. Then I put a trace on the payment. Chase Bank traced the payment to see if the, the bank received it. And they said that they received the payment on September 8th. However, when I asked Chase for proof of that, that the receiving bank had received the payment, they could not provide proof. They would not send me any written, written documentation. And they told me to go into the branch to receive that written documentation. To which, at the branch, they told me they basically could not help me. So I would love to sue Chase Bank in court, but that does not seem like a good use of my time or money. When I reached out to the vendor, they said they insisted on trying to sort things out with the bank. And after a few emails back and forth, I got sketched out because I asked the guy like two times. I asked him two times for proof that the bank asked for the beneficiary name to be changed as to reason. So the receiver of the money, the Chinese guy, would not provide proof, did not have proof that the bank requested the beneficiary name to be changed. However, he did send me a screenshot, which I'm assuming was from his bank dashboard, showing that a payment was pending from me in the correct amount. So there's a chance I don't know how, I've never heard of a bank holding the money for almost a month. So then I told him, okay, we'll just send the money back. So he said he's going to contact the bank and have them send the money back to me. Now, whether I receive that money or not, I guess we'll find out. And if I don't, then, I mean, I have some other Chinese vendors I do business with that could put me in touch with a lawyer, but this whole scenario is ridiculous. And the main issue is... I had a solution to my egg shipping cost. Now I don't. So I don't know. I don't really know. I, I, I have to maybe find a way. The problem is the, I can't really talk to his bank. Only, only the Chinese guy can talk to their bank to figure out what's going on. So it's just a whole, it's just a whole mess. If, if the transfer was done on Alibaba, I would have probably been fine. So hopefully, hopefully the money comes back and then. I could do it through Alibaba and only pay him once I receive the goods. So, whatever. Just a huge headache I have to deal with. I'm, I'm really disgusted at, at how Chase Bank has treated this situation. And if it got to the point where I'm out $5,000, like, the first thing I'm doing is making a video about them and then making a video about Alibaba, too. So, hopefully it doesn't come to that point because I'd rather keep it civil but if I'm gonna be out five thousand dollars it's not gonna be civil so let me show you guys around before I pass out yeah I had to unload all that gym equipment this morning so the main issue was these dickheads that sold me this fitness equipment were missing half the bolts and nuts to the machine so I had to run back and forth to the hardware store like three freaking times and I still got to go back another time so that was irritating a bunch of fucking dickheads anyway that is my lunch I'm bringing home. We got some freshly ground beef. This is going to be available under the ground beef section. Only $8.50 a pound, guys. Freshly ground beef should be available this week and next week. Uh, this is a delivery we got today just for all the soups and the stocks we got. And this is all the ground beef. So we got a decent amount. It should last us a week or two. Uh, we got another meat delivery in two. I think it's mostly pecani and, and lamb liver and a few small restocks. Beef shanks, back in stock, walls off the tendon, and some new beef tribe. Yeah, I think I might have said it already when we were looking at the delivery, but main restock that you guys have been missing is beef tendons. Then we're gonna have the new product, the beef tribe beef stomach, and then we're gonna have uh, also, no, that's it. Beef tendon back in stock, beef shank back in stock, and then beef tripe newly available by the time you guys see this video. My contractor buddy is here. He's setting up the washer and the dryer today. And hopefully he has time to fix the, uh, to fix the, one of our units on the freezer still isn't working. So hopefully he can fix that too. 
and I'm still waiting on this restaurant guy to bring all the used equipment over. Hopefully he does it next week because we got to get the the big hood set up and then we got to get uh, some gas lines ran for the the bigger burner so we can make the soups easier and we got to get that big new tilt skillet set up. I was thinking about getting a steam kettle too but I'm not sure. But um it's 2:45 guys. I need to uh I need to do a few things and then I want to go home and uh, grab some lunch and hopefully get a night's sleep and get my act back together. Okay, so we don't we don't have anything crazy that needs to be done today. Uh, I think we had some reviews I wanted to read. Five star review. I will not buy meat from the store anywhere. I love the taste of healthier choice and price. I feel great and enjoy my food much more. Thanks. I don't think that was the review I wanted to read. Five star review for Frankie Steak Seasoning. Love the seasoning. The seasoning is so good. The best quality ingredients all combined works on almost anything. It's all you really need. Great job, Frank. Five star review for the Wagyu Beef Fat Potato Chips. Glad to see these. These were very salty and cut a bit too thin, so glad to see something I can eat and feel guiltless about. I love to have these available in my pantry, so I will try to stock up when I get low. I think they meant they were, because now the new chips are thick and they're, there's like no salt on them at all. Oh, we got another review for the steak seasoning. Amazing, somehow the best seasoning I've ever had in my life is also the healthiest, thank you. Yeah, well, thanks for the feedback, guys. Yeah, guys, that's it for Friday, so hopefully I'll have some more stuff to show you guys tomorrow. Uh, I don't think I showed you on this vlog, but I showed on the day of eating last week, and we did a short on the new beef bovine collagen supplement, but as usual, I'm shadow banned as fuck and sell like three of them, but who gives a fuck? See you guys Saturday. What's up, how are you guys? It is Saturday. Still haven't figured out the uh, $5,400 Chinese scam nonsense, but I'm not going to talk about that more until we resolve it. So, Got the dryer and washing machine installed over here. This is so we can, you know, just clean our kitchen towels and uh, instead of using paper and stuff. I got this used from this guy in Jersey, $1,000 for both of them, which... I think that's a really good price for both the washer and the dryer and then the install wasn't that much so maybe save some money long term with the paper towels but more importantly short term you know we're not using paper towels on everything. Not sure if I showed you guys we have the grape water kefir finally back in stock. I think maybe it was just one of you guys that kept asking me for it. <laughs> more importantly we got some eggs in this week. A uh, small amount of chicken eggs, plenty of duck eggs, and some quail eggs. We might have chicken eggs finally back next week, but I'm not sure. So when this video is posted, the coming Friday, we might have egg, chicken eggs finally back in stock. Not sure though, worst case scenario, it's gonna be one more week after that. Got the beef heart all portioned out one pound beef heart you know we were previously selling mostly like larger three or five pound whole hearts which are not that convenient so if you guys want one pound heart now we have it we got the beef tendons finally back in stock one pound packages of the tendons the organic vichy swa is now for sale uh, it's actually ten dollars i might go lower on the price it's good just not perfect yeah, so we got a lot of different and new stuff. The beef and bone broth, just plain beef chunks in there. This is the chicken stock, chicken extract. Of course, we have our regular collagen extract, bone broth. What's this? Beef stock concentrate. This is actually the leftover stock from the beef and bone broth. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Uh, I definitely have to charge more for it because it's very high in amino acids and B vitamins. And we are running low on the beef and barley stew. I think there's like 25 left. So we might make the stew this week, we might not. I don't think we're too far behind and I'm pretty sure I'm not having any more meat orders come in this week, so I think we'll have plenty of time to, to keep doing some extra stuff. But when the eggs are back, then I think 
I think we're going to have a very difficult time doing any of this extra stuff because, you know, the, the main reason I'm upset about that scam is because that would have saved me a lot of time on packaging up the eggs, but now I don't, I don't know what the solution is. So maybe this week, which you guys will see in the next vlog, we might do a, a cream of mushroom soup and a demi-glace. Well, actually, I, I highly doubt that restaurant equipment is going to be set up in time. So maybe we can't do those things this week. I guess the only possibility is we just make another batch of beef and barley soup just to be ready. Because the cream of mushroom soup requires the mushrooms to be heavily caramelized, which we need that skillet set up for. And the demi glass also requires a lot of caramelization on all of the vegetables and all the meat and stuff, which again, we don't have the equipment set up yet. So uh, maybe, maybe we'll just do the beef and barley soup again, which is passable without that equipment. If you guys try that new local chicken share, let me know how you like it. I had like one or two customers reach out and tell me they didn't like the meat and we had to issue them a refund. So if you guys give me feedback on that chicken share, if it's like too tough or whatever, we might just have to grind it up. So, I mean, we should have probably done that in the first place, but it's a lot of work. So worst case scenario, we just have ground chicken, which a lot of you guys have been asking me for. It's just, you know, now at this point to, to grind up all that chicken would be like in it an insane amount of work to do but hey if the meat's too tough that's what you have to do it has to be sold as ground meat all right guys so i'm gonna do a few hours of work today make sure we don't fall too far behind maybe help my guys out a little bit you know we got all that stuff prep we're waiting on labels for a lot of things of the naturals products and the organ supplements products that are ready so hopefully those come in early next week and then and then we can get everything labeled which is going to take a really long time because there's a lot of stuff we're behind on but uh that should be it so let me let me get to work guys and uh we'll see you for tomorrow sunday what's up guys it's sunday i don't think i really have much to show you guys today my guys got a lot of boxes ready for the orders they brought the coolers over here from the warehouse uh, looking at my to-do list i don't think we have much to do what's up guys they did all the egg orders already, so these are going to ship out first thing tomorrow. This is all that fresh ground beef we're sending out this week. Skirt steak is back as well. And we got the fresh one pound ground lamb back in stock. Yeah, we're behind on a few things, so hopefully we can uh, catch up and finish everything this week. So hopefully we get the eggs back in stock too. Yeah, I mean, my guys should be able to finish all the orders tomorrow, Monday, and then we basically have the whole week to catch up and finish everything. Uh, but that's going to be it for this vlog, guys. So hopefully things go okay with that uh, that Chinese scam. The latest update on that, which I said I wouldn't talk about, is they asked me for my bank information to send the money back, which doesn't make sense to me because if the bank was holding the funds, wouldn't they just reverse the transfer? Why would they need my information again to send the transfer back? That doesn't make much sense. But whatever, I'm kind of over it. As I, as I said, like I'm more disappointed that I don't have the, the material now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll see how it goes in the next few weeks. Best case scenario is he sends the money back, then we do it through Alibaba, and he actually sends me the product. Worst case scenario is I'm out the money, and then I just, maybe I try to find another one. I don't know what to do. It's, 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 ridic it's a ridiculous, business strategy that, to hope that someone doesn't scam you right you know i've done business with so many of these these vendors on alibaba that like it's usually not expected but that'll be it for the vlog guys uh you can see all the businesses on frank stefanocom especially frankie's free range meat frankie's free range foods uh, you know we got the potato chips back in stock we got a lot of new products on the foods website uh, we got the collagen new on organ supplements, but hopefully within like a week or two, we can get most of the products back available on there as well. And then uh, Wi-Fi shielding, restocking some stuff this week. You know, we got the skull caps back. We got a few things here and there, some canopies back. So definitely check out pretty much all the businesses we're getting new stuff. We still, we're still waiting on the labels for the tooth powder and the lip balm. So hopefully, as I said, next two weeks or so, everything's kind of ready and then we should be good to go. Thanks for joining guys. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna, I wanted to take a break and not do a vlog this week, but we'll see. Maybe we'll just keep it short.